Hey YouTube, Natchez860. Smoking the Rick Black mortar pipe with some McBaron Old Dark Fired. Hope to do a review of this next week. I can't believe I've been smoking it this long and never did a review on it. It's fantastic stuff. If you've never tried it, order a tin. We'll smoke it together next week. Got a request from Pipe Master. Talk about lighting up with matches or a lighter. And I sort of touched on this subject when I talked about Zippos. And uh, if you want to be proper smoking a pipe, The preferred method usually is using matches. But I told the story that uh, as soon as super stores came into being, I found it really difficult to locate matches in the store. And that's when I switched over to uh, using a Zippo. The more I thought about it, there's probably some underlying reasons that I prefer the Zippo still. When I was a kid, Saturday mornings watching cartoons, Smokey Bear would come on. And he had all these sad looking animals with them that lived in the woods. Somebody started a fire with some matches. Smokey would say, only you can prevent forest fires. You see that enough and you start to think that matches are bad. I think it did some kind of psychological damage. When I was about seven years old, my mom had uh, friends that smoked cigarettes. And they never had any matches. She kept a uh, few books in her pocketbook. Mom, Dad, and I were in the kitchen one day. My dad asked for something out of my mom's pocketbook. She goes rooting around in there and comes out with something. We're all sitting there going, boy, something smells like it's burning. Sure enough, there's this mushroom cloud over my mother's pocketbook. Apparently uh, two books of matches rubbed against each other and started a fire in there. That was the end of her carrying matches. I think that did some psychological damage to me as well. But anyway,
One of the uh, most frequently asked questions I get, well, I get two of them really. One of them is, why do you call yourself matches if you use a Zippo? When I was looking for a screen name back in the 90s, nothing was working for me and there was a box of matches on my desk and I figured out ah, what the hell I put that in and the uh, whatever I was signing up for took it so I used it all over the place by the time I got to uh, YouTube everybody and their brother wanted that screen name and I started punching numbers in and nothing was working. Finally, I used the area code for Connecticut, 860. That did it. So the second question I get is, don't you get a taste from the Zippo when you light the pipe. The honest answer to that is of course you do. It's something you get used to and it's only for a very quick moment. And I have to say If um, I happen to light a pipe with a match, which I do on occasion, I never go, wow, I should go back to using matches. Because to me, there really isn't that much of a difference. All kinds of stuff happens to matches, though. I'll always remember when I used matches all the time, I'd get my uh, clothes back in the laundry. I had always left a pack of matches in there, and boy, they looked nasty after they'd been through the wash. hot and humid summer days. Forget about using matches. Remember a few times, especially with wooden matches. You go to light the match, the match lights, but the head flies off. That's always exciting. I do kind of miss that. But one thing I don't miss, this happened to me twice. Barreling along the highway. I got uh, an old cat food can I use for an ashtray because of course you can't find an ashtray in a car anymore. All filled with uh, spent matches and ash. Go to empty the pipe out, it's got some uh, hot stuff in it. Next thing you know, you look down, you got like this three alarm blaze going under your dashboard. Yeah, that's always a lot of fun. If you're lucky, you got a cup of coffee or something, you can put it out. Those are a few of the drawbacks. But I think it all comes down to you know, there are uh, 
pipe smokers like myself that have a pipe going all day long in the Zippo really makes a lot of sense. If you're one of those that just has a pipe at night or maybe even less than that a couple of times a week definitely matches are the way to go. As long as you're not starting a fire in your car. <laughs> Those are my thoughts on matches and zippos. Thanks an awful lot for joining me. Have a great weekend.